Hello everybody, this is Gray Mansion, and today I'm going to be looking at Bar Barbarians. Now the theme of this is you've just finished adventuring and you're looking to have a little downtime at the local pub. Unfortunately, a fight breaks out around you and you get sucked right into it. Now each player takes on a different character and will be moving around the board playing cards to try and hit the other players, while of course defending themselves by playing shield cards when they are attacked. And the last person left standing is going to be the winner. So this sounds like a simple, light game. But we've seen this type of game before, so does this game bring any new drinks to the table, or are you just left with a spilt beer? Let's get it to the table, see how it's played, and we'll come back for my final thoughts on Bar Barians. Here's Bar Barians set up for three players. Each player takes a character card, and you can play with no special abilities, but I would recommend playing with unique character abilities and take the matching standee. Place your health marker on 12, and draw 5 Brawl cards. Each player will then place their standee in one of the spaces, and it's fine to have multiple standees in one spot. The goal of the game is to be the last player standing. You'll be playing cards and rolling dice to attack other players to try and get their health down to zero, at which point they're out of the game. On a player's turn, they will have three actions and can do any of the following for an action. They can stumble, that is, move to an adjoining space on the board, but not diagonal. They can take a breather, which means draw a card, or they can do some troublemaking and play a card from their hand. At the end of your turn, you can have a maximum of 5 cards in your hand, and you must discard down to 5 if you have more. The stumble and take a breather actions are pretty self-explanatory, so let's have a look at the troublemaking action where you play a card from your hand. There are 5 different types of cards. The first is the attack card. You'll play this card against another player in your space unless it says otherwise, and roll to see how much damage you do. A 1 is always a failure. A 2 to 5 is a success and a 6 is considered a heavy blow and will add 1 to the damage you inflict, as outlined on the card. Any damage dealt will reduce the target's HP by that amount. A defense card is played by the non-active player when they are attacked. It will be played either before or after the die is rolled, and it will say on the card what happens. A drink card are played by the active player and are placed next to your character card, but these cards will last a maximum of 2 attacks and you can only have one active drink card at a time. During an attack, if the player has a drink card played, it must be used. When used, turn the card to the side, and when it's used a second time, the card is discarded. Event cards are placed during your turn and apply any special effects as shown on the card. And finally, violence cards. These work just like attack cards, but they cannot be blocked and cannot have a defense card played to alter them in any way. When the character's health point reaches or passes zero, that player is out of the game, and the player who knocked out that player can draw two brawl cards. When there's only one player left standing, they are declared the winner. Let's get back to see what I thought about Barbarians. Theme and Components The theme is fun, and they really tried to inject the theme to the game through the mechanisms and the components. I'm not saying this is a super thematic game, but for the theme, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I had fun with this theme. As the components, these are a mixed bag. I really don't like these large white standees with the little pictures on them. I figured they could have done much better than this. But the cards, which you're going to be using most of the time, are nice and large and a good quality finish. And I really like the art on the cards, and honestly what they do is nice and simple printed across the bottom there. There are other components in the game, and they're good, so you kind of get a mixed bag. Good cards, a decent board, and subpar standees. So on to the gameplay. I think from the overview, you can already tell whether you're going to like this game or not. This game is fun for a bit, but I found it soon kind of outstayed its welcome. Now there are 64 cards in this Brawl deck here, but there's only 28 unique cards. And of that, there's 10 unique cards that are attack cards alone, which are pretty basic. You know, inflict one damage to any character. Inflict two damage to a character in your space, or move to an adjacent space and attack with a minus one penalty to the die roll. Things like that, I mean, they're thematic, but they're a bit lackluster. The defense cards, event cards, and drink cards, they're slightly more interesting, but especially the defense cards, I wish they were more consistent. Some of them were you played them before the attack die is rolled, and some of them are after. And for a game that's this simple, I would want something that's more consistent. The violence cards are powerful, but there's only five of them in the deck, and four of them are only use, uh, useful in certain areas of the inn, which I understand because of how powerful they are. Now, there are two sides to each character, and I would highly recommend playing with the one with the, uh, the asymmetrical powers, because that just makes the game more interesting. And the main game board. There are two sides to it, and there are kind of uh, optional rules that you can play 
uh, for each side. One of them has to do with passing cards to the left when a six is rolled, and the other one is the possibility to all players kind of get sucked to the same spot. But, would I recommend this game? No, you know what, I don't think I want to be involved with this brawl. I did like the theme, and they kept the theme throughout the game in the artwork, the cards, and the actions. I also really like the art on the cards. The game is quick and simple and fun for the first little while you play it, but it almost kind of gives you that munchkin feel. That is, you know, it's funny the first time you play it through. But on repeat plays, it kind of loses each time uh, something each time you play. And I think that's ultimately my issue with the game. It just kind of gets very repetitive easily. And nobody I played with this has to play it again. But I am going to give this one a 6 out of 10. And I would definitely say that if you saw it at a con, it would definitely be worth a play. But I don't think I'm going to tell you to go out and buy this one. But that's it for the moment. Until next time, thanks for watching.